Okay then, we've crossed the Mersey, we're in Birkenhead, Liverpool is over there. What are we doing? Where are we going? There's a place you want to go to. Is it near here? Sort of. Right. I'll tell you what, I'll do Birkenhead first. Birchenhead, a headland here, covered in birch trees, where some monks built a priory. Birchen Priory. Eventually that got changed to Birkenhead. The Priory is just down here. And we're going to have a look at it. What? Why did they build it in the middle of an industrial estate? Do you know, funnily enough, Camel Laird wasn't here in 1150. Come on! So, the Priory was built in the middle of the 1100s. There were 16 monks based here. No nuns, just monks. And they're just... What? Were none of them married? You're not thinking that a nun is someone who's married to a monk. Like, no, that's not how it works. Anyway, the monks here would have to garden, fish, hunt, cook, look after the place, and offer free hospitality to anyone that wanted to stay. And this is where they would offer it. By the way, you hung your bow up here before you went into the house. In fact, Edward, there's none there now. Edward I came along in 1275 and he stayed for a bit whilst he was battering the Welsh. And for the pleasure of him staying there, he sent them a bill. <laughs> Two years later, he came along and invited 63 poor people in to have free food and drink. Hurrah for the king! The monks weren't too pleased, though. Eventually, they got money for ferrying people across the river and for having people stay here. Happy ever after, until Henry VIII smashed the place about a bit. Everyone pensioned off, bye-bye, end of the Priory.